My name is Kareem McNeil, and this is my story. I grew up in a small town called Tuskegee, Alabama. Um, it, it was a small town, and most people know it for uh, the famous Tuskegee Institute, the Tuskegee Airmen. And I uh, grew up in a single parent home. My mom worked really hard to take care of myself and my siblings. Football happened for me by an accident. Um, I had no plans of playing football. Um, I was going to a new school in Montgomery, Alabama, and when a person in the office of the school asked if I was going to play football, um, mainly because I, I was a really big kid, um, more like a, I was a really fat kid, and uh, I was asked if I was going to play football, and I said no, but my mom said yes, and. I think uh, looking on it, looking back on it now, she said uh, yes, or he'll think about it because uh, I really needed to lose some weight. My dreams uh, for uh, life in general was uh, I, I wanted to get a college education, and I had no idea that football would play a role in uh, in me achieving that dream. Uh, when I first started playing, um, uh, honestly, I, I just was was playing because I was asked and, and I didn't want to disappoint uh, uh, the high school coach that asked me to come out and um, and I ended up uh, doing really well and uh, better than I even hoped or had any idea and um, one high school coach came to me one day and and that said Kareem do you know that you could play at any division one football school that you want to and I did not realize how big that was until I started getting letters. July 5th, 1995 was a day that changed my life forever. I was involved in a car accident that left me paralyzed from the waist down. My brother-in-law, myself, and another individual, a friend, were out uh, one night and looking for a place to play pool and didn't find a place and so we were on our way back home when we were involved in a car accident that ejected all three of us out of the vehicle. I, was, I received the worst injury out of the three. I broke my back and uh, brother-in-law had gotten a concussion and, and so did the other fellow that was in the car with us. After I had the car accident, uh, life definitely changed for me. Uh, completely. Um, at this time I had dreams and aspirations of, of playing in the NFL and going into my senior year having this accident um, changed my whole perspective on life. Um, I had to figure out what I was going to do and how I was going to live life being paralyzed. Uh, obviously when you go from being able to walk, stand, run, you had to learn how to live life all over again. And uh, that was a big challenge for me. My dreams now, uh, for the most part, haven't changed. I still want to walk again one day. Um, the only difference is uh, just living life a little bit different. I had no idea that I was going to become a teacher or would enjoy teaching. Um, and that's where life has kind of led me since being in, uh, in a wheelchair and figuring out what I, what I wanted to do with my life and how I was going to provide for my family. And after I, I taught a couple of classes at the university, I fell in love with teaching and that's what I wanted to do. <clears throat> my greatest accomplishment to date is being a husband and being a father. I have four beautiful children. Uh, they are two sets of twins, ages, uh, the oldest two are 12, the youngest two are eight. They are three boys, one girl. And having children puts a whole new 
perspective on how I live life, uh, providing for my kids, taking care of them, teaching them uh, how to be good citizens, how to be good people, how to do things the right way. And most of all for me, uh, teaching them about God, about faith, and teaching them how to stand on their own. As far as uh, rehab goes, there have been ups and downs. Um, things were tough in the beginning um, with the rehab as far as learning how to, to do things and live life and to be independent um, in a wheelchair uh, to other complications later on, um, things dealing with uh, swelling and, and losing, uh, losing both of my legs uh, because of the complications with the swelling. And uh, though that has been a challenge to, to deal with. And, but, you know, I, as long as I stay positive, as long as I keep my faith in God and, and the Word, uh, I think I'll be just fine.